Okay, let's talk a little bit about thrones because it relates back to the P.O.P.E. and we're going to we're, we're circling back to the P.O.P.E. I know I kind of took a detour here on symbols, but I feel like it was it was important to talk about because it all connects. So um, as you see on the back of this chair, now these are all real chairs. You can order these chairs online or you can find them online. And uh, I think you can even you can buy them on, online as well. But these are free to the mate to the sewn chairs. And it, as you see, it has the pyramid on the back with the sun in the middle, right? And there's lots of different designs of this. It's all based off of this. When we, when we think of the square, it makes the pyramid symbol uh, with the G in the middle there. So you see the triangle going up the back of the top of the chair. And then here's another, here's another chair. Um, so these chairs are all over. You can order these chairs. These are the chairs you'll see in the terms. But they always have the pyramid on the back. And they always have the square <laughs> and the circle maker. And they have the sun often in there as well. Um, but they have, it, it, it's, it's representative of, of, of the same thing. So this is, this is, like I say, these are all over the place. You can look these up and you can even buy them. I'm not telling you to buy one, but I'm just saying it's, that's how, that's how prevalent it is. I mean, it's actually, there's a market for these things. And uh, this is, you know, because we got to order them for their LODGEs and so forth. So there you can see it's actually from a specific LODGE. Um, and here in this one, you can see actually the sun and the moon in there. And it really is kind of representative of the firmament. You know, this pyramid kind of represents the firmament in a way. And you see that also in their halls, you know, that they have the two pillars of Jabin and I'm forgetting Joaquin and Jabin, something like that. And uh, Jabez or something. They have the two pillars and they have this firmament above. Well, it's kind of the same thing here. So you see the sun and the moon and stars are kind of underneath that with the G in there. And then here's some official, here's like from their official website. You can even see the pyramid with the eye and the, the, the sun behind it. And you see their, you know, their pyramid on the top of their chairs. And these are kind of their official chairs that they use in their, in their meetings. And if you're one of their disciples, then when you get, when you eat at the table, you too get a little triangle in your chair, a little pyramid and a little birdhouse in your soul too. And uh, here you can see the, uh, this is actually one like when they're official meetings, so they kind of have these kind of decorative pyramids on the top of the chairs, and then the very top that you see the sun coming up in that sort of curved curved pyramid there that they have, and here's like a bigger view of the whole meeting where you can see those are being used there for the grand pubas to sit in, and here's like from the back it says detail of carvings of their symbols from above the worshipful master's chair, <laughs> right on the east side of the temple or the room. Okay, so you can see the one on the left there. It has the pyramid and has the sun and it has the sea as well. So maybe they went with sea also. Okay, and then there's this one that has the double-headed eagle and the pyramid at the top. So there's lots of varieties of this for you. Now, it's not limited to just chairs. Oh, before I leave chairs though, this one's kind of interesting. So as you, as you see here, you see the square and the circle maker, uh, but you also see a shovel and a, and a gavel, like a hammer kind of there. And uh, I thought this was kind of intriguing because here again, you see like a hammer and like a spade, right? Uh, because it reminded me of, and that one especially, now look, at, look at this one, okay? So you see that it looks like a hammer and the square only looked a lot like this. I'm thinking, hmm, hmm, wondered where they got this logo from. You got the hammer and the Sith, right? But it's very similar, very similar, almost identical to, to that. So I thought, hmm, is there a connection here? And then when I thought about their current flag, has the double-headed eagle on it and the rider on the white horse and the dragon. Well, there you have it. So... When you start to look at all this, you go, so in other words, this is all a big show. Like what we're going through, this quote WAR that seems to be happening right now with the Prince of Rosh and, uh, and everybody else, really they're all on the same team. They're all part of the same club. I mean, the Prince of Rosh was at the WE to the F meetings as well, right? 
and uh, and Mr. Schwabe even talks about him being there. And so they're all in cahoots. They're all working together to bring about this plot. I mean, this third WAR was actually planned long time ago. So just like these Jesus have been at it since the 1500s, well, since the 1800s, they had these three WARs planned uh, for the purpose of taking over the world. And you can look at the first video I have on my channel there, highlight featured there, and it goes over that in great detail. So the fact that they're all doing this now, it's it's just kind of smoke and mirrors, right? It's just a charade. It's it's what, what they did in the book 1984 in that book. They always pitted these almost imaginary countries against each other just to kind of keep the world in a state of shock and peril and control. Because when you're in that WAR state, you can kind of control everybody a lot easier that way. It's like, well, you know, there's a WAR happening, so we got to have you in your house right now. We can't have you out on the street. We can't have you doing anything. So, you know, that's how they controlled them in that book. And they would always change it up. Like, Oceania has always been at war against Europa or Eurasia or, you know, whatever it was. And they would always kind of change it on you. So people are just kind of like, huh? Like, who's at war with who? Um, you know, it's that kind of thing. And, um, and so that's what's going on now. They're, 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 just, they're just playing you, man. They're playing you. You know, they're, they're making everybody think, good guy, bad guy, root for him, hate that one, you know. And they, they, just, they, they put you against each other and divide when really they're the ones plotting the whole thing so they can bring about this whole new Novus Ordo Soclorum, as it says in the back of your do dollar bill. Here is what uh, the Chuckster... And his mommy have on the back of their chair. Oh, look, it's a pyramid with the sun in the middle. Huh. You mean they're part of it too? Yeah, they're part of it too, guys. It's all part of the same club. And you ain't in it. And you don't want to be in it, okay? So don't worry about that. When they say you ain't in it, yeah, it's good. I'm glad. I don't want to be in that one. Thank you. I want to be in the Jesus Club. Thank you very much. But, uh, but yeah, it's on, their, it's on their thrones as well. So who's really in charge here? Is it the Chuckster or is it somebody else? Who's he bowing down to with the pyramid and the sun behind him? The pyramid with the sun in the middle. Hmm, hmm, something to ponder there, right? Right, see they're telling you. they have, It's part of their thing they have to kind of tell you in plain sight. It's like hidden in plain sight. It's right there, but you have to have the knowledge to understand what you're seeing. Right? But it's right there in front of you guys. It's not hidden. They're telling you that's why they use symbols. They use symbols to cue to each other, like mm, wink, wink. And this goes back to this chair that he was coronated on, 700 year old chair here. And like I say, it's been happening since the beginning. So these guys have been using the same symbols from the very beginning. If you look at the back of this chair, right, you see right there, it is a pyramid with the sun in the middle. Right, it's the same same thing that's been used since the beginning of it all. Who knows, man? Maybe the serpent in the garden had a pyramid tattooed on his back with a sun in the middle. I don't know, but uh, it's been going on a long time. I'm just kidding about that, but you know, you kind of wonder uh, where how these symbols start. But uh, it makes you think about the pyramids themselves. And uh, I know Carla at Ecker Symphony would love to tell you more about that. She she does a lot of research on the py on the Great Pyramids. But it makes you wonder about the connections uh, of that and uh, all that symbolism, you know, and even all the other things from the Egyptian times, all the symbolism there and the connections. It was kind of like a outpouring of symbolism there in Egypt. Now, okay, we circle our way back to the POPEs, okay? All right. Welcome. Welcome back. Okay, so, um, <laughs> so he too has the throne with the see this is why i had to show you all that so that when you got here and you go oh wow now i see it so the pope he too has the throne with the sun god at the top in the middle and a pyramid though it's not as obviously a pyramid but if it's kind of cut off a little bit they've got the cherubim on the top but that goes up to form a pyramid at the very top there um but then you've got the sun you see the rays of the sun coming out of there and not necessarily a double-headed eagle on that one but uh but pretty close. And he's got that sinister look. Like, you see the look on his face? Like, <laughs> Master, oh, it's all happening. It's about time to make the plan become reality. Ooh. Very creepy. Very creepy. 
And then he's got like a little pyramid on the back of his, like oh, just a little one, just a little pyramid. Don't don't pay attention to my pyramid. Why are you looking at it? Stop looking at it. It's small. It's just a little pyramid. Don't be scared. So um, so anyway, but they have him on the thrones, and of course, I thought I, I had to show this one too because he's got the white throne. On the white throne with black heart is the P.O.P. <laughs> God, that's, there's a song like that. But the White Throne, um, uh, <laughs> with black soul sits the poopy, the poopy. Um, so anyway, but uh, the White Throne, that comes from Revelation 20. So he's kind of usurping the throne from God there, trying to be the white the man on the White Throne, White Throne Judgment. He's going to face White Throne Judgment, it would seem. So um, so now it's, it's not just limited to chairs. <laughs> You're like still with the symbols, I know, but it it all ties back. So I'm gonna tie I'm tying this back to the POP again. So don't don't worry. So that one tied in. You see how how it ties in with the stones, but it also ties in here as well because it's important to understand, guys, that these are not independent actors, right? They're all part of the one club, and you ain't in it, and you don't want to be in it, right? Um, but it's all tied together. Same organization, same influences, same symbolism. It's all it's all tied in one. They even have the same steps in their organizations. Now, if you look closely here, there's like a bunch of needles around. I guess that's to keep birds off, but kind of goes along with their sort of violent persona. Um, but what you'll see is you'll see this pyramid a lot on buildings. And a lot of times you're like, why is, I mean, I remember even thinking that, like, why did they put that there? It doesn't seem like it serves any purpose. It, they put it there to say, we're in charge. We've conquered. That's right. They put it on your halls of justice. They put it everywhere. You know, sometimes it, it fits in with the roof, but other times you're like, like, what's that doing there? It's it's there to say, we're in charge. So here you go, over the first Methodist church, they've got the pyramid and the sun god in the middle, circle in the middle there. Now, there could be organizations that maybe do this and don't realize they're doing it, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, you know, most of these organizations are usurped uh, by, these, by the chief organizations. So your bank... Right? It's just a way for them to say, oh yeah, we own you. We own your bank. We own your courthouse. Here's the city hall. I mean, that's literally like the sun guy. He's the rays of the sun with the bricks there in the middle of that um, of that pyramid. Um, so we got your city hall. Oh yeah, you think, it's a, you think it's a free country? Like here's an example where it's like that was totally unnecessary. They did not need to put a stone pyramid there, right? It serves no purpose other than to say, we own your courthouse, right? You think you get justice in that courthouse? Think again. We're in charge. If if you if you're one of us, if you join our club, right? And they probably point this out to initiates. Like, see how we got we got in charge of everything. See our symbolism everywhere. Mm-hmm. That's right. They didn't have to put that there. It wasn't even necessary. Here's another one. The Supreme Court. Oh yeah, we got them in our pocket, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's another palace of justice. Oh, they, there they put the sun on top. You see, they got the sun on top of that of the that pyramid. So that's how they roll. Now, I let I put that out there because I want to show you this. Okay, now check this out. This is actually from the oldest cathedral, going back to Catholicism now, and the Jesu to the Its. This actually predates the Jesu to the Its. This is the the oldest cathedral uh, that was erected by. Charlemagne, the first king of the Holy Roman Empire. And there were seven King Charles. Current King Charles would be the eighth. And he's of the seven because he's also King Charles, but he's the eighth King Charles. So um, so this is actually on the building. As you can see, it's got the pyramid. It's got the eye. It's got the sun in blazing detail, okay? And let's show a couple more pictures of that. This is, it's over a secret entrance here. I'm not sure what happens when you go through that door. I don't know if you want to know. Uh, probably don't want to know what happens behind that door. Here's another picture of it. It's called the Aachen Cathedral. It's kind of interesting. Akhenaten. I think, think about like Ak Akhenaten because we just said Aten. We talked about Aten, the sun god Aten, and Akhenaten was uh, that pharaoh of that time. And they call this the Aachen Cathedral. It's the golden 
glowing pyramid, an eye, and an iron-studded blue door. It says the Aachen Cathedral. It's in, of course, Germany again. It always goes back to Germany, guys. It's always a connection there. This is called the Aachen Cathedral. It's a Roman Catholic church in Aachen, Germany, and it's the seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Aachen. It's one of the oldest cathedrals in Europe, and it was constructed by order of Emperor Charlemagne. Wow, it's pretty intense. So Emperor Charlemagne, guys, he's the first, the Holy Roman Emperor. He's originally and officially the Emperor of the Romans. He was the first Holy Roman Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. And he's the one who ordered this construction. It's one of the oldest cathedrals and probably the oldest one of the Holy Roman Empire, specifically, that was constructed for that purpose and by him. So hence the reason they have the symbology on there and they probably, you know, they consider that one of their shrines that they, uh, that they honor. 